Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Um, thank you for um, tuning in with us. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a question from the IV Chemistry Paper 1 HL from November 2016. Now, this question is all to do with lattice enthalpy. <clears throat> and lattice enthalpy is from the HL section of topic 5. So if you're an SL student, you don't necessarily need to know this. But if you would like to uh, gain some extra knowledge, then please feel free to stick around with us uh, today. So I have made a video on lattice enthalpy before um, where I explain what exactly it is. And um, it's particularly useful in the born Haber cycle. And I've made an entire video about that. So if you would like to learn more about that, please go and check out that video. In this video, we're going to strictly talk about what impacts lattice enthalpy in an ionic compound, which is what this question also asks us to determine. So they've asked us which ionic compound has the largest value of lattice enthalpy. And we have four options over here. We have MGS, MGO, CABR2, and NEF. <clears throat> now, there are two factors which impact the value of lattice enthalpy. And I'm gonna list them out. So the first one is ionic charge. And the second one is ionic radius. Now, I'm gonna take a look at ionic charge first. And to put it very simply, the higher the charge on the ions, the more strongly they attract each other and therefore the greater the lattice enthalpy. So let's take a look at MGS. Now MGS, what is the charge on Mg on magnesium? Well, it's plus two and the charge on sulfur is minus two. And like we said, the higher the charges on the ions, the more strongly they will attract each other. So Mg has a charge of positive two, which is the highest, right? It's pretty high. Now where we, when, if we compare it to another substance, like for instance, um, Na2S, Na has a charge of plus one. Oops, sorry, it has a charge of plus one. Sulfur still has a charge of minus two. And just because there are two sodiums, that doesn't mean the charge is twice as strong. That doesn't, it doesn't work like that. So the lattice enthalpy of MGS is actually higher than the lattice enthalpy of NAS, sorry, Na2S. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the first and foremost thing you have to look out for. And why does this happen? The force between the ions is proportional to the product of the charges. So the force of attraction increases basically as your ionic charge increases. Hopefully that makes sense. So if the ionic charge is higher, the electrostatic attraction between the ions is stronger and that's why higher ionic charges result in stronger values of lattice enthalpy, sorry, larger values of lattice enthalpy. Now the next trend that, or the next factor that uh, impacts lattice enthalpy is the ionic radius. And that basically means the size of your ion. So I'm gonna again, take the example of Actually, I'm going to take the example of MgCl2 and um, NaCl. Okay, I'm just going to take this example. So, I'm going to ask you to imagine the ion of magnesium, right? Magnesium forms two plus ions. So, this is a magnesium ion, okay? Na forms plus ions. And this is the ion of sodium. Now, the ion of magnesium is going to have a smaller radius than the ion of sodium. And why is that? Simply because magnesium loses two electrons. And when it loses two electrons, the nucleus automatically is stronger or it has a greater, the electrons in the atom feel a greater effective nuclear charge. The nucleus 
acts, acts like a magnet. It pulls in the electron towards itself. And since magnesium has lost two electrons, now the effect of the nucleus is greater because the nucleus where the protons are, that is a positive charge, right? And the electrons are negative charges. So if you've lost two negative charges, you have a surplus of positive charge, two positive charges now. You could imagine it like that. Whereas for sodium, sodium only loses one electron. So there is only one extra positive charge. And if you compare that to magnesium, which has two extra positive charges, just by logic, you can already imagine that the um, influence of the nucleus, the effective nuclear charge felt by the electrons around the uh, nucleus will be greater because the nucleus is more powerful. So two plus charges, or uh, magnesium two plus will have a smaller ionic radius than Na plus. And if the ionic radius is smaller, remember what I said in the previous point, ionic charge, right? Why does that impact lattice enthalpy? That's because the nucleus attracts one another. So the charges in the ions attract one another and these charges tend to reside in the nucleus. So the higher the charge, the stronger the attraction. And similarly with ionic radius, the smaller the radius, the closer the two nuclei are to each other. So if you have a positive, I'm just going to give some example, a positive uh, atom and you have a negative ion, sorry, ion, not atom, ion. The distance is this much. But if you have a two plus, it's going to be much smaller. The distance is going to be much smaller since the ion is much smaller itself, right? The distance between the two nuclei is going to be much smaller. And that's why the shorter the distance, the harder, the, the stronger the attraction and the harder it is to separate them two, which gives you a larger lattice enthalpy value. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, getting to our question, which ionic compound has the largest value of lattice enthalpy? Well, we can automatically eliminate D because D, let's look at the charges. It's plus and minus, right? Na is plus one, uh, fluorine is minus one. So D is no, because we have magnesium here. Magnesium is plus two, sulfur is minus two. Same case here, magnesium is plus two, oxygen is minus two. Um, with chlorine, with, sorry, with uh, CABr2, uh, calcium is a plus two metal. It loses two electrons, but Br is minus because it's a halogen. So it loses, it, sorry, it gains one electron. So this is also out because remember, the nuclear charge, the higher it is, the stronger the attraction between the two, uh, nucle the, the two nuclei. Now, we have to decide between MgO and MgS. Since both of them have identical ionic charges on their uh, ions, we have to look at our next factor, which is ionic radius. Again, Mg2 plus exists in both. So Mg2 plus is going to have the same ionic radius in both cases. So the difference is going to happen between the sulfur ion and the oxygen ion, which is smaller. Now, if you look at your periodic table, you're given a periodic table in um, your paper one, you will see that oxygen is actually in period two, whereas sulfur is in period three. So oxygen is automatically smaller than sulfur. That's why A is not the correct answer. B is the correct answer because oxygen, the oxygen ion is actually smaller than the sulfur ion. And that's why the lattice enthalpy will be higher. Smaller ionic radius means higher lattice enthalpy. Greater ionic charge gives you a higher lattice enthalpy. Hopefully that makes sense. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I have managed to explain this concept well. Um, I'll see you in another video with another question. You have any other problems with this topic or any other topic, please feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram send me uh, questions by email or put them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.